Hello, everyone. Can you turn that music off? So, where do I put my camera? Where to begin? This is so weird. Maddie Mae here. Um, so, in this last week, a lot has happened. Mm -hmm. I like your eyeliner. Thanks. Let's talk about what's happened. Um, well, first of all, I was dumped. Yeah, so she was dumped. <laughs> Thank you for being <laughs> it. <laughs> Second of all, my grandma came to visit and she fell twice on two separate occasions. So we spent all day Saturday in the hospital. She came home and on Sunday, I helped her walk around the house. The moment I go to the restroom, she gets up, tries to walk by herself and she falls again. So we, um, but she's fine. She's fine. She's good. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. She's like not fine, but she is fine because she hit her head, but there was no brain bleeds or concussions. So that's really good. Um, and then the first fall that was on Saturday, she hit her hip, but there's just swelling on her hip. There's no breaking. There's no fractures. So it really is okay. But literally in the same week that I was dumped, I also was very worried about my grandmother and so it's just been a week and you know Lola's been sitting here by my side mm -hmm. not really she's been going to friends houses not really this week <laughs> so I'm coping in the only way I know how which oh is God. reading yeah reading and going to buy books so my one of my a clip of them running I will one of my truly the dogs are outside playing and they're adorable one of my really, really good friends, Allie, sent me a card and she literally colored it herself. Are you kidding me? Sending a little sunshine your way. Um, she didn't color the inside because she was like, P.S. I colored the outside of the card and left the inside in case you wanted a relaxing activity. I'll definitely be coloring this. Um, but she sent me a $25 Barnes & Noble gift card. So, And I had been needing a new book anyways because... I'm almost done with Maybe You Should Talk to Someone by Lori Gottlieb, and I really like it. So after that, I won't have, actually I have one book on the loading dock, but nonetheless, um, there's been a few books that I really want to get. So I'm going to use this gift card and also pick up something from Half Price Books, and it's just going to be a treat yourself moment. Let's go look at the puppies and bring them inside so we can go. Hi, my little pumpkin. Hi, my little pumpkins. Hi, babies. Hello, gorgeous and handsome. Okay, bye. All right, guys, we're back with the paparazzi. Um, so today we're on the way to the bookstore, and I have a question for you. Okay, make it quick. I have places to go okay. people to see. Okay, so since that you are single now, what? <laughs> What are some things that you've looked to for like like personal mental health and stuff and like is that a bad question? No, that's a good question. I'm trying to like how do I word it? Like um, thing that things that you've done well, I just to help like, yourself feel better or something. Yeah, I mean well I have just like really been so lucky with my friends. I have the best friends in the world. Like as soon as I told them they all called me or texted me or literally sent me a letter in Allie's case like I just felt really lucky to have the support system so I would say like my friends and books and just having something to focus on which is this the MCAT so yeah. it's just had something to keep me busy and stuff so um yeah and we'll see you guys next time with Lola and Maddie Paparazzi you guys we just left. I'll do a book haul in the car. Hi guys. We have to make this kind of quick because I'm running out of gas. So, but I also can't have the car off because it's too hot. So, um, Lola will go first. Show them what you got, Lola. So we went to Half Price Books. Mm -hmm. And so you can buy books that like that are new for like half price. And so I got We Were Liars. Basically, I found about this because a lot of my friends at camp read, were reading it and they're all switching it around, but I didn't get to read it because I was reading other books. So I finally got it and Maddie read it and said it was pretty good too, so. Yeah, I did read it and I would have given her my copy, but I read it on my iPad and so she didn't want to read it off my iPad. So she went ahead and bought a paper copy. Um, from Half Price Books myself, I lucked out. I've been looking for this book called Tornado Weather 
for a while and every time I saw it, it was not in stock. Um, it's not like a bestseller or anything. I just think a lot of people weren't turning them in. Um, but I actually lucked out with an autographed copy. I don't even know how that happened. What? Yeah, like this copy is autographed. By which author? By the author. So that's pretty cool, but I've been wanting to read this for a long time. It's about a girl who gets kidnapped and um, I think each chapter is portrayed through the lens of like each neighbor and what they saw that day. And so, yeah, and I'm at the end, read that. That yeah, good. it's it's supposed to be really good. And so I got this um, a signed copy. I also got from Half Price Books, The Song of Achilles. Lola read this, said it was so good. I've seen so many booktubers talk about this and say it was amazing and that it's like a standalone book um, that you can read having no knowledge on on like Greek gods Greek, or Greek mythology um, like they present each character as if you've never heard of them before and so um, I'm really 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 excited to read this and people say that the last few pages are just heartbreaking yeah don't tell me what happened no, but I'm just saying the only thing I would say about it is that it um like there's so many characters sometimes it gets a little bit confusing because they all have like big names and stuff mm -hmm. but other than that it's really good but i'm really really excited i've been wanting to read this forever because everyone's talking about it um the two that i got from my sweet gift card that ali sent me i got such a fun age by kylie reed apparently there's a lot of discussion on race and society and racism um, I could be wrong, yeah. The store security guard seeing a young black woman out late with a white child accuses Amira of kidnapping. And so, I've been wanting to read this for a while and it's won the Booker Prize, yeah, the 2020 Booker Prize, so must be pretty good. And then lastly, I'm trying to get on the Colleen Hoover train, okay? I'm getting, I'm reading Verity first, actually not first because I read It Ends With Us by her and I wasn't too impressed, so hopefully this pulls me out of my slump with Colleen Hoover that I'm not even really in. I just read one book by her and I was uh, blown away. But I think that's because everyone else hyped it up, so I don't know. But my sister raves about this book. She loves Verity, so um, I'm excited to read this as well. So I th feel like I got a bunch of different books that are all across the Which spectrum. Which one are you gonna read first after you're done with the one you have on? I don't know yet. I feel like you should read the song of Achilles, you'll get through really fast. Okay guys, I'm gonna go drop a little off at our friend's house and we'll see you at home. I'm leaving home for the coastline Someplace under the sun I feel my heart for the first time I'm not focusing I am in the basement I'm getting started with studying for the day um, I like to do Anki If you didn't watch my last video I like to do Anki sitting at this comfy chair And then I move over to the desk In there once um, I finish Anki To do practice problems So you guys really have been liking my videos recently that are just kind of all over the place, which is what my life is right now. So I wanted to keep on filming stuff like that. Plan today is just to study. I'm in a major grind time. The test is coming up quickly. Let's just get to work doing Anki. My computer's gonna die soon. So I wanna get today's Anki done before it dies. So I don't have to bring my charger over here, so. I feel my heart for the first time Cause now I'm moving on, yeah I'm moving on And there's a place that I've dreamed of Where I can free my mind Um, I apologize if I'm out of focus because I really, like, can't tell but um, I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about um, like two days ago I hosted a study with me on Zoom and it was so 
awesome if you showed up um thank you so much first of all it felt really good to know that like people actually wanted to come and so we just studied for two hours 12 30 to 2 30 and um it was just so good because i stayed off my phone i focused on what i had to work on and i just knew that all of you guys were there working on your own stuff and i don't know i really liked it so if you were there comment below i want to know and also i wanted to say that i do plan on doing more so if you weren't able to come um no problem um i will definitely be doing more just follow me on instagram to know whenever i um, plan them and yeah i meant to get like a screenshot or a video for my vlog but it totally slipped my mind so next time i do it i will um definitely get it for the vlog if you hear stuff upstairs the dogs are running around playing so that's what that is but um yeah i just wanted to quickly include this in the vlog to thank you guys because it was so good and i love you guys so much and yeah now that i've repeated my thanks and gratitude 12 times i'm going to get back to work hi guys waiting for the water to boil it's been a few days i just haven't really been doing anything except for study and today i've just been pretty sad because we dropped millie off for her two-week training we're doing something called board and train where you basically board the dog for two weeks and they get trained during that time because apparently if you board them it's more efficient because the trainer can spend 24 7 with them instead of like an hour a day with them so that's what we opted for ozzy's gonna go too but we thought it would be better or the trainer thought it would be better if they didn't go at the same time because if they went at the same time, they would um, like be more focused on each other than the training. So yeah, Millie went first. We dropped her off this morning. It was very sad. And now Ozzy doesn't have his friend that he loves to play with so much. So it's just been a very sad day. I've been just comforting Ozzy all day. I don't even know if he knows what's going on but i know he's like where the heck did my sister go she was here this morning and then she wasn't i'm cooking some dinner for the fam actually can't really take credit for it because my mom made it this morning and i just am putting it in the oven and boiling the noodles so it's been kind of a productive day with studying again i've just kind of been uh, like sad which isn't really an excuse but you know i just love my puppies and I hope she knows that I love her and we're coming back in two weeks. Um, I've been reading Maybe You Should Talk to Someone by Lori Gottlieb. And it's really, really, really good. At first I was like kind of skeptical, but as the book has gone on, I just become more obsessed with it. Um, but I will say, despite that, I've been kind of slow reading it. I don't know if that's just because I've been studying more, because my MCAT's closer or if because it's just a slow read but either way i've really liked it and i hope to finish it soon ozzy what do you think of the book do you think it's good first day of skill and there's a place that i've dreamed of where i can free my mind i just actually i didn't just wake up but um, it's a little, it's like early afternoon and I'm going to get ready and go to a new coffee shop that I haven't yet been to. So I don't know if it will be successful or not. Um, but yeah, it's called Mocha Lounge. If any of you guys are uh, in the Indiana, Fort Wayne area, I have not very many days until my own cat. So i'm on a study grind and i can't decide how i feel i don't feel not ready but i feel like i also don't feel ready um but i've kind of come to realize that i don't think i'll ever feel ready the test gives me so much anxiety in general that like i don't think i think i could prepare for another year and i would still not feel ready so 
I just kind of have to do it. I have to take the test and just do my best. You know, just send me good vibes, please. That would be great. Anyways, I just wanted to pop in here and like just say that the beginning of this video, I was kind of just joking about my breakup but i do want you guys to know that there's really not any hard feelings nothing crazy happened that made us break up and i'm not going to be sharing like all the details so just know that like i'm fine he's fine everything's fine i still have more healing to do but just know that i am in a good headspace um and i just know it's gonna be okay Holy crap. I'm not going to allow Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't even know if you can hear me right now because the air is on full blast. But I can't turn it down because it is just too hot outside. I am wearing a long sleeve, but that's because I get cold in coffee shops and just establishments in general. So, <sighs> it's so hot outside though. I have a headache, so I only like stayed there for a couple hours um i need to go home and take some advil i did read a little bit of my book that will be in i don't know if it'll be the next video or the one after that but i am doing a reading vlog with the song of achilles so i just started it and you'll see all of that in that video so i'm not going to talk about it but so i'm going to go home take it a leave and probably take a little chill pill like just sit there for a few minutes and then get back to studying because I did not do enough today and there's a place that I've dreamed of where I can free my mind I hear the sounds of the season and lose all hello um, I'm about to go study at my mom's work um, because she is a professor and so they have like a student room that is really for the students but you know the professor's daughter gets a few perks and so I'm gonna go study there just for a change of scenery and um, I really like it there it's very quiet students don't usually come in there and use it so I'm really putting it to good use Maybe I'll show you guys my mom's office, but she has a meeting at 3, so I don't know if she'll be in her meeting by the time I get there. I just did something really cool with my makeup that you probably can't really see from far away. But um, I basically like used a little face oil and mixed it with an eyeshadow. And then I used the eyeshadow as eyeliner, and so I did that. I just mix it with the oil so it would kind of go on a little smoother. I don't know if you can see that, but I used like purple eyeshadow as eyeliner today. And it, I feel like it's going to stay since I let it dry and stuff. So try it if you want. You're going to stay home alone for a couple hours? I think you can do it. I think you're a big boy. Hello. Um, so I just got to my mom's work. Um... And I'm in the student room. I'll show it to you guys in a second. But I stopped and got a matcha from a local coffee shop called Old Crown. So it's pretty standard. Just a bunch of tables. I mostly like that it's just quiet. There's not usually anybody in, in here. Alright you guys. So it's um, 6.51. I've been here for a while. I'm about to pack up. Um, maybe I'll show you guys my mom's office. Because it's really cute. But... Um, I just wanted to show you this funny notebook and I take quizzes and stuff. I've been using this notebook and it's just so funny to flip through. Can you guys see this or is it too bright? It's just such random stuff. Like, it just, I don't know. Because I do all my subjects in here. But I filled this notebook up with just scratch work from practice quizzes. It's so crazy. Okay, what do you guys guess this is? This is the the process of um, 
the blood flowing through the heart. We've got the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. And then it goes into the pulmonary arteries, the lungs, pulmonary veins, down to the left ventricle, and up into the aorta. So, um, anyways, some genetics. I just thought that was kind of funny because I filled this notebook up with just the most random scratch work. I'm gonna pack my stuff up and um, head to my mom's office to let her know I'm heading out. I also did a little bit of reading during my break today, but I'm not gonna show that footage because that's gonna be in my reading vlog that's coming up, so make sure you check that out. But I feel really at home in this student room because it's orange and it's giving me Tennessee vibes, okay? We walked in the cold air Freezing breath on the window pane Lying and waiting The feeling is gone Only you and I It means nothing to me This means nothing to me oh, Hi guys, so um I need to end this video because it's getting long, you know? It's getting long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, this one was all over the place, but that's just how my life is these days. So um, if you enjoyed it, please let me know below. Comment below something. I really went off in that little office montage, but I've always loved my mom's office. So I just thought I would show you guys. I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!